hello everyone welcome to mayur programming club today we will be solving another daily lead for problem and the problem's name is two keys keyboard okay so the problem statement goes like this there is only one character a on the screen of our notepad okay and you can perform the two operations in this notepad for each step okay so what are those two operations the first operation is copy all operation in which you can copy all the characters that are present on the screen uh, as of the moment you are applying this operation and then the second operation is you can paste the characters which you copied the last time okay so then you have uh, been given an integer n okay and you have to return the minimum number of operations to get character a exactly n times on the screen okay so for example if n was 3 then you were required to uh write 3 exactly write a exactly 3 times on the screen okay so then you have to tell uh, how many minimum number of operations will be required to do so okay so before thinking of an approach let's have a look at the constraints also so according to the constraints the number will be ranging from 1 to 1000 okay so upper bound is 1000 so let's try to think of an approach how we can solve this particular problem so there are some observations that we can make okay so the very first observation is so what i did uh, was uh, i tried out this combination for uh, you know a variety of numbers and i was able to find out that if let's say there is only one number that is to be printed there is already one number we will be returning zero in the, that case okay and if let's say there are two numbers then there are two operations that are required okay so first of firstly there was only one a then you need to copy it okay and then you need to now you are having uh, this on your clipboard okay and now you will paste it so the second operation is the paste operation so two a's will be coming so you can see two operations when n was these numbers uh the number of operations requ were required were exactly equal to n okay and you can take so uh, the key observation here was and if you take let's say 4 what will be the number of n that will be required number of operations required okay so in that case firstly there will be only a single a then you will obviously copy and then you will make it a double a okay then you uh, did the paste operation okay and for the uh, sake of simplicity let's write c and p okay then there are two already and you have to make four okay so you will be just you know copying these so copy again of for these two and then you will be again doing the paste operation and after these two two more will be appended and it will result into four a's okay so it resulted into four operations required okay so and let's take some other examples also for example if you take 10 as your input okay then what you will be doing is firstly there will be only single a then there will be two a's okay for two a's you will be requiring two operations as we already discussed okay then after two a's uh, you will again copy and paste these two a's then it will result into four a's okay 
now you have got four a's with you and you have to make 10 so then you can uh, paste two uh, then it will become six and then you can again paste two so uh, as of now your clipboard was having uh, you know two with you okay so you were uh, pasting two 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 okay so at the end you will reach to 10 so if you see the number of observations it can be divided into like uh, uh, the operations like this so initially for two you were requiring two operations then you are requiring uh, two operations here and then three operations for the pasting okay two plus three so it can be divided uh, it can be you know separated into two plus five okay so in total several operations will be required but the key observation here was that this division was able to actually form the number also if you multiply these so the observation was that for prime numbers what you have to do is firstly copy single a and paste n minus one times okay this was one observation okay so this was observation one and the second observation was for composite numbers as we see, uh, uh, see the case for 10 and let's see the case for 12 also for 12 you know that firstly you have to form two is for that you will be requiring two ops because two is a prime number okay after that what you will be doing is you will be doing one copy and paste operation to make four is okay once you are having four is then you will pay copy those four is copy and paste those four is two times okay so in total uh you required th this much number of operations two operations to reach to two is and then again two operations to reach to four a's and then again two operations to reach to eight a's and one operation to reach to finally 12 a's okay and if you uh, try to divide it into sections then it can be done like this and it will result into this okay two plus two plus three and this is by the way the prime factorization of 12 so you can make some other observations also but the logic will come came out to be the same and the logic is that uh, for prime numbers you have to do exactly n times so for first time you will be copying the single a then your clipboard or the your buffer you can say will be having a single a then you have to paste this single a n minus one times there is no another way of reducing it uh, down uh, to n times if the number is a prime number and if it is a composite number then in that case you have to do the prime factorization okay and in that case it will be simply the sum of the prime factorization what i mean by the sum of prime factorization is for example if we were taking the example of 12 okay or let's say take the example of 18 okay for 18 prime factorization will be 2 into 3 into 3 okay so you can see that 2 plus uh, 3 will be 5 and 5 plus 3 will be 8 so in total 8 operations you would be able to achieve 18 so 18 can be formed like this uh, if uh, there is a single a then firstly there will be one a then you will be requiring two a's for reaching two a since two was a prime number let me take another slide for that so one to two you will be requiring two operations till now okay two operations then after that what will be happening is after two you will be uh, trying to form uh, another subsequent numbers okay so you can see following will be the operations needed for making 18 
so once you are at two then you will be making three a's okay for three a's you will be copying the one that you were having in your clipboard again then you once you are having three a's then you will try to form six a's uh, by copy and pasting d okay so once you are having six a's then you will again copy and paste six again then right now you are having six on your clipboard so 12 operation 12 will be there then one more paste will result into 18 and you can see the number of operations required are two operations to reach to two then one to three and after three to six you will requiring two operations again then from six to twelve you were uh, requiring two operations of copy and paste then uh, one single operation was required so in total of you can say eight operations were required and if you do uh, you can see these are the prime factors also indeed okay so two into three into three so that's why you will be just summing up the prime factors if it is a composite number or if you uh, want you can take any prime number it will be nothing but firstly the first operation will be copy a single time copy single a and paste it n minus one times n minus one paste okay so for prime numbers this will be the case okay prime numbers and this will be the case for composite numbers so you will do the prime factorization and add up the prime factorization of that number and that will be your answer so let's see how we have implemented that and let's take the code to the board so this is the implementation the implementation is quite concise so what we have done here is firstly we have initialized the number of operations that will be required to reach to a particular uh, occurrences of a okay so initially you were having only single occurrence on the screen then you have to perform the operations and tell what will be the number of operations required minimum number of operations required to reach n a's on the screen okay so since we were required to do the prime factorization we were st since uh, uh, we will be starting from 2 so since prime factorization starts from 2 and you will be going up till n okay uh, till since n is also a factor of itself okay it might be a case that uh, you know it is a prime number so it is not divided by any number other than uh, itself and one so it can reach up to n okay so that is why and uh, then you will be just uh, count, uh, adding the factors of this number and you will be returning it uh, with the num uh, number of operations required to reach that number so this will be the approach and if you talk about the complexity time complexity wise it will be square root of order of square root of n why we are saying that it will be order of square root of n because of this operation we are dividing n by its factors each step we are able to find a factor of n okay so that will result into square root of n operations order of square root of n and space complexity wise since we were not using any auxiliary space or anything extra so it will be constant order of one so these will be the complexities and this will be the approach and the key observation again was to uh, try out different numbers first of all then you have to make the observations for the prime numbers you were requiring exactly uh, what that prime number was number of operations and for composite number it was the sum of the prime factorization okay so this was the whole logic if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section and i really hope this solution worked through added some value to your journey of honing your dss skills until next time
keep solving more and more problems and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching